Welcome back to Illinois Central. Now let's take a look at a recent fashion showcase of Mary Todd Lincoln's wardrobe. Mary Lincoln is an extraordinary character. She speaks French, she knows politics, she knows the world of arts. She also knows fashion and she's addicted to it. She had a taste for the extravagant, uh, for beautiful fabrics, for bright colors, for elaborate designs. She was always one of the women when she entered. Everybody wanted to see what Mrs. Lincoln was wearing. I'm Eileen Makovich, the director of the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum, and we're here in front of the White House awaiting a bevy of beauties who are going to show us some extraordinary clothing that Mary wore or could have worn in the 19th century. My name is Mira Horoszowski and I am owner of Mira Couture and I was chosen to be one of the designers who would reproduce Mary Todd Lincoln wardrobe. Justice Burke, who is the honorary chair of this evening along with Justice Garman of the Supreme Court, went to see Mira Horozovsky to describe the idea that we wanted to create these ball gowns to give a sense of what life was like in the 19th century, to show the discrepancy between the rich and the poor. So Mira came up with four dresses that look at the particular moments in time. So you will see the various stages of, of Mary's life once she entered the White House and when she became a widow. This one was the dress Mary Todd Lincoln was wearing for the opening of the White House. And she was very, very much detailed person. And she had ordered the lace from France. It's a Chantilly lace. And we follow the direction. And we follow very, very close to the picture. And as you see all around, I was able to find the same lace in France. It's the same lace what was in that period. So this is one of the favor of my dresses, which was worn by Mrs. Mary Todd Lincoln for the opening of the White House in Washington. The dress I'm wearing would be considered maybe a third stage mourning dress. After the death of Willie, that's probably the only time she actually went through the actual stages of mourning. After Lincoln passed away, she stayed in stage one all of her life, which is deep, deep mourning. So this is purple, and it would graduate from black to a gray to a purple, and then it would start lightening to a lilac, and eventually you get into your day clothes, your regular day clothes. Yes, she had a temper, and, and yes, she had a lot of other things going on, but she was a loving wife and a loving mother, and uh, I just, I fell in love with her, and I just wanted to share that part of Mary with the public as opposed to the only part that they've ever really heard about, which is the shrew. I think still all too often the public has a kind of negative sense of her, that she was just Abraham Lincoln's crazy wife, and that obviously she's a much more complex person than that. She cared a lot about fashion, and I think I think we can also see her using clothing as a way of expressing her sense of self, uh, her personality and her identity. And also, of course, she was a political wife for a lot of her life, being married to Abraham Lincoln, and very consciously dressed the part, both when he was an up-and-coming young politician and when she was first lady. She used dress to try to embody for the nation what American womanhood is supposed to look like. 